Hey everybody, I'm 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 pressing my luck. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing another Isaac run. It's four in four in one day. Can you believe it? it? Shouldn't such a thing should not be possible. You knew it had to happen. That's the scary part. You knew it had to happen. We do okay, you know what? 2 D H E V J V E. We do start as the keeper, yes. But with the apple. Which I think is actually called the Razor Blade, which is way more sensical. Um, ah. However, like, really, little did we know, the most momentous moment in this run actually came last run. When we got Eden's Blessing. Who knows where we would be right now if we didn't have Eden's Blessing. We'd probably still be alive, but certainly more scared. So it's been it's been a long time since I had a keeper run. Long time since I had a keeper run. Who remembers? I don't know why, <laughs> dude. I slipped so hard back into teacher mode. <laughs> Who can tell me what you need if you want to have the best chances for success as the keeper? Uh, an item that drops coins when you get hit, like the piggy bank. That's right. An item. That drops coins when you get hit with the piggy bank. Or, 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 yes. Teacher's pet. Um, oh, you could also get uh, any item that augments your usage or percentage chance of success with your spacebar item, which starts with wooden nickel. That's true. And then you go like, oh, freaking try hard. No, you're all... Let me, let me give you the secret as a teacher. At least, you know, I, I haven't talked to a ton of teachers in my day, except for, you know, my colleagues, but... Every teacher loves the teacher's pet. Which I guess makes sense. That's why, like, they're called that. But, um... You, you, sometimes you get annoyed, you know? Like, sometimes the teacher doesn't actually forget to assign homework. Sometimes the teacher, in their head, they go, You know what? I'm feeling nice today. If nobody reminds me about the homework, then we don't have to do the homework. And then the teacher's pet occasionally puts up their hand and goes, Teacher, aren't you forgetting something? And you're like, well... Someone else is taking the heat today, so I guess, yeah, have the book reports on my desk by tomorrow. Um... That was almost very dangerous. Um... But you're always... The teacher's pet is always there to get you out of, uh... You know, an awkward silence, or none of the kids are answering questions, and you gotta be like, if nobody's gonna volunteer, I'm gonna volunteer for you. Don't know why I'm saying it like Tom Waits uh, yet again. Velveeta and a slice of toast. Um, sorry. Chili in a bowl. That's <laughs> it's the new the new wave I'm on right now is making jokes just for me. And if you like them as well, then that's great. But if you don't, that's also, I accept it. Um, it's a very good secret room, even though, like, it's kind of useless right now. Um, it's it's very good because, you know what? No, we, we know we don't want flies. Um, we, or we don't want spirit arts because we'd only get flies out of it. Hold on. This can't be the secret room. That can't be the secret room. The reason that the other secret room was good is because it told us where these, the second secret room couldn't be. Which, via process of elimination, is taking us here. So I'm, I'm going pretty hard on this. Like, um, you, you need something. You know, you need something in your life here to... Give yourself a better chance as the Keeper. You could always just pog up. Like, you, you could pog out of your freaking gourd. Um, it happens. It's been known to happen. Um, although, we're, we're trying not to say pog anymore, because apparently pog is a political term. Because <laughs> it's, of course, it is in 2021. Um, but either way, we're trying to be, uh, you could just start playing extremely well. That's possible. I think we have to, I think both of these items are very good for us. You could make use cases for both of them. I think we have to farm a little bit more, though, because car battery, nun's habit, etc., etc., are, like, so important. Um... I think it's worth holding Diplopia and re-rolling everything else. Could you imagine the extreme levels of greatness? Battery's tough. I, it's, it's tight. I don't think we... I, I think we need 9 volts or, or something of the ilk. 
Um, but imagine if we got car battery, I was just gonna say, and nuns have it. But anyway, car battery just by itself is extremely great. So we will duplicate here. It also gives us humbling bundle, which the way that humbling bundle is gonna work, um, it's not going to give us two separate instances of coin. Let me see, has this one been used? It has, okay. It's going to, well, okay, apparently it's going to give us two by twos when it comes to the coins. Which is actually, like, pretty sick to be honest with you, but... Um, Alright, I mean, this is this is very good. This, this, that was a big improvement for us, and it turned out that Diplopia was the right call, believe it or not. Because we got car battery, which doesn't... Car battery plus... Uh, humbling bundle. It doesn't... Double, I don't know, maybe it does double your chances of getting a payout. At the very least, it even if it keeps, well, no, you know what? It does double your chances of getting a payout. But your payout can also, will also be 2x of whatever it was individually. Okay, yeah, the, oh, now I'm, I'm starting to piece it together. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm stoked. Very good bomb sales here, if we were interested in getting some bomb sales, but we're not really. Um, I, maybe it's just me, but I don't even know how Deep Pockets works, so I'm freaking out of here, dude. <laughs> I don't know how this, I don't know how this goes. I, I think we got a real shot. I, I still think this is a scary run, for sure, but I think we got a real shot here. I'm, I'm feeling good. We already circumvented or overcame, uh, one run where we, we won as the lost. It's kind of a confusing sentence, I suppose, but we won as the lost. Now it's time to get a keeper as the keeper. But yeah, I can't stress enough, like, the most excellent item we've gotten so far didn't even show up on this run. Showed up uh, at the end of the last run. We are looking for, and th this is actually a good use for our bombs, um, we're looking for um, the trinket. Oh, well, that's not how that's supposed to go. Um, we're looking for the trinket. Hear me out here. Brain is, is not working very well. Swallowed Penny. We're, we're, we're looking for Swallowed Penny now. Swallowed Penny would give us... That's huge. Um, a coin every time we got hit. We're looking for Piggy Bank, which gives you a chance to get a coin every time you get hit. We're looking for, like, Fanny Pack, which gives you a chance to get a consumable that could be a coin. I, I fear nothing. We're nihilist, Lebowski. We believe in nothing. Okay. We we got... I, you might say NL. You're probably like... You're gonna miss out on that deal with the devil. I don't care. Tommy Lee Jones and the Fugitive. I don't care. We don't care because we weren't gonna take it anyway. Unless it was like out of control good, right? Um, I gotta be honest with you. I would pay to go into every shop to get flies... In exchange for getting flies out of uh, every penny we pick up. Because I, I, I don't know about you, I got a sneaking suspicion we're going to be picking up a few over time here. Um, it, now I'm like, dude, if we could double up on those flies. hi -o. I think I speak for the rest of the group here when I say hi -o. Um I'm like, there is a way. <laughs> if you get Nun's Habit, you can pretty much play this... Uh, this blood bank, dude. Mystery sex, pretty good too. Okay, so this is a very Isaac focused one, and I gotta tell you, it's 7:03 p.m. This is like the latest I've recorded a video in, um, you know, a little over three months. Ask me how I know. That's not true. I think around baby time, when our schedule was so fricked up, I was recording some, uh, you know, at, at different times of the day, but. Um, it's a long story short. This is like the first genuine test we've had where I would actually say like even with the lost I usually like eyeball it at like a 50-50% chance. 50% um, 50% I don't know why 50-50% sounds so weird. Probably because that's two numbers in one sign, but um, You know what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking something like that. Ho ho ho! We don't wanna, but mm, unless I really could use the speed upgrade from a blood bag, but you know what, beggars and choosers, you know, that old, that old wishbone, that old nutshell. <laughs> you know, the old, the old adage about beggars and choosers, mm, probably the worst uh, output I have ever seen 
from all those pots. Okay, now this is, again, an insulting shop. I feel like I probably don't have to tell you that. Let's see what we got here. It's, uh... What? Okay, wait a minute. That could be something. <laughs> uh, that's not really. This is this is a weird one, man. I Look, we, we want to fish for trinkets, but that's a little too expensive. So let's just spend our money on nothing instead. Um... Again, useful, but not in this situation. Uh, come on now. All right, fair enough. At least at least we saw it to the its logical conclusion. Um, you're not good for us. You're gonna pick up red hearts, turn them into flies. It's it's not horrible necessarily, but we 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 don't even see red hearts. Um, look, it's pretty good, but I'm gonna fish for something. I think a little bit more, a little more rich. You know, a little bit more to our liking. That is definitely, that's, you You might debate me on this one. I think that that is a big improvement for us. Um, and we're not gonna worry about the secret room too much, but I'm feeling, I mean, look at the size of my dang brain here, man. Like, you, you think this run's gonna go wrong? I don't think so. I don't think so. Get me out of here or whatever, though. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm like, hey, just give me a second. Here. Is... Look, Rome wasn't built in a day. You gotta bounce it off the sidewall there. No! <laughs> Wait, uh, so... All of that was an attempt to try to find the second secret room, which is literally in the room before that, and we were already inside of it. So, um, you know... Not not always gonna be, like, uh, bringing my A-game here cerebrally and stuff like that. But we're, we're working on it. <laughs> I'm liking this setup we got here right now. I'm, I'm, re I'm really liking... I'm really liking this setup we got here. Um, you know, we're generating a lot of coins. The coins generate flies. The flies do some of the killing for us. We should, for sure, leave some coins on the ground. But I'm not really doing it because do as I say, not as I do as always. Within the context of a single room, we will leave the coins on the ground. But... Help me. Okay. Keep it moving here. It's a very big room. Very concerned about enemies that explode. Some of some of my least favorite enemies right now will, will just explode as soon as we uh, enter a room, but I got I got high hopes. I think this one's coming uh, I think this one's coming together. That's not what we're looking for. I don't think there's any doubt of that. This is what we're looking for. Not so much um, Ghost Baby, which is uh, useless. But rather a reroll machine, which could change everything. Sadly, that does nothing for us. Uh, very little. Tears upgrade is pretty good, but I think we're gonna fish a little deeper. You gotta be I think you, you benefit from greed. <sighs> You know what? This is the kind of spice I can get down with. Range, still pretty solid. Yeah, look at this. Like, we can still shoot across like a third of the screen. I'm, I'm down with this. Um, help me! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Trying to delete it. Got a little scared there. Got a little... I, I pretended. I showed you what fear looks like. I've never experienced the emotion for myself. Much like the song from Madden 2002. I gotta tell you, I ain't ever scared. I, I always remember Madden 2002. It might, and now that I think about it, it's, it's ironic because of the, where this bit's going. But uh, it might be 2003, but it also had Andrew WK's Party Hard on the soundtrack. In ninth grade, I volunteered for one Halloween at my f my friend's neighbor's haunted house. And it was one of those moments that is like a... It's a formative experience in your young life, you know? It's like they, they could... It's like one of those nights like super bad where they, they... I mean, the movie, if they made a movie about it, it would be very boring. But it felt very significant at the time. You know what I mean? You're hanging out with your friends. You're, you're, you're scaring little kids, but like not just to be a jerk, like by design, it's a haunted house. And then like when it's all over, you know, you, you go back to 
his house, you play some Madden, and you're like, this is what adult life is like, man. This this must be what it's like being a real grown-up, which I almost am, because I'm in ninth grade. Like, pretty soon I'm gonna be like, you know, president or whatever. This could be big. Still is good. It wasn't big, but it was good. Um, and I remember that we were playing a bunch of Madden. That's that's all I remember. But I remember I ain't ever scared. Excuse me, jar of flies. No, thank you. Justice, extremely great, extremely great. And you know what? I'll pay eight cents for a bunch of bombs too. We'll probably get a bunch of bombs, but I, I, you know, the more the merrier in this case. We're very much looking. I think it's it's obvious, but we're very much looking for um, anything that would augment. Our space bar payout. Much like the hypothetical straw man teacher's pet said a little bit earlier. Turns out, you know, they were right. They knew what they were talking about. That's an extremely great time for car battery to show up. Really appreciate it. And, uh, I mean, sure, range plus luck. Not really what we're looking for, but <laughs> it's, it's something, I guess. And we got plenty of bombs with which to turn our gaze upon the raw mega who is actually rag mega but I've never let uh, a good reality stand in the way of a funny joke all right it, as expected we did not get what we were looking for which was a, the deal with the devil but that's okay Am I am I insane here? Is there a reroll machine back here? There's not, right? There's not. Okay. So we'll go in here because we didn't go into our secret room yet. We we're hoping there's some kind of like respawn ability. Instead, we'll just get magic mush. We'll try to set ourselves up for one of those sweet ESP moments. Didn't get magic mush. Happened to get steam sale, which is still pretty pog. Sorry, sorry. It's gonna take some work. <laughs> The world's changing every day, man. It's hard to keep up. Just one mild-mannered streamer from the west coast of Canada. Well, not from, but currently residing. Um, why did I think that you couldn't play this indefinitely unless you had Nun's Habit? Gotta stop picking those coins up. This, this is our ticket to a speed upgrade. It's also our ticket to getting like a sweet fly army. That's pretty cool. Like you could just keep this going for a while if you wanted. My, my keeper skills are very not sharp. Oh, careful. If I win this run, it's more of an indictment. Of myself, you know, because I've been saying for years that, like, uh, you know, Isaac, oh, it's, uh, they've made the game, uh, I wouldn't say too hard, but, you know, like, oh, it's so hard to win unless you're on your A game when you get a run that's just totally crappy, and then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, really? <laughs> How about a run as the keeper where your brain is only, like, 35% functioning? Because you're in the, the new parent time zone, which is its own independent time zone that exists outside of the realities of normal time zones. Uh, and yet you still have a good chance to... Let's not act like we've won already, but you know, you still have a good chance to win regardless. They're, they're trying to undermine me, and it's not going to work. I'll lose this run if it's the last thing I do. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. This is where you love to have the mind. You know, they say the mind is a terrible thing to waste. I, I endeavor to prove that right. Let's let's not waste it. Oh, I did it wrong. Little Brim is pretty good. This is an item I'm not going to be too upset about. Little Brim's pretty good. I don't know why, but it's, occasionally people ask, NL, when did you get that, like, pseudo-Brooklyn accent? Um, it's... You're going to laugh. I really feel like, you know how, like, uh, a marathon runner... This is such a stupid bit, but it's real. That's the thing that's so funny about it. That's not... What? Oh, I must have just misplaced it. Um, what's wrong with me? 
Where'd you get that Brooklyn accent? I honestly feel like, you know, like a marathon runner needs to, like, run with a different uh, kind of cadence than a sprinter, right? Because they got to keep it going for so long. Don't laugh. But some days, like, the more I talk, the more I kind of slip into that, like, hey, you guys, you know? I think it's, like, my brain's way of, of like, marathon speaking. I told you not to laugh. And here you are laughing. I on like yes. So you're asking NL is your honest opinion that it's like more, it's it's easier for your the muscles in your throat or your body or whatever to speak in a Brooklyn accent. Yeah, I suppose that's what I'm saying. Okay. If you if you guys are gonna twist my arm or whatever, then yeah, I suppose uh, <laughs> suppose that uh, is what I'm getting at past the gabagool or whatever um we will okay you know what i'm happy to at least see it maybe we want to save that i do like the justice card don't get me wrong phd also pretty sick chaos on the other hand i'm gonna call that not so sick spider mod for three cents i'm gonna call that sick remote detonator we're gonna say it's it's at least a bronze medal on the sick uh list i'm happy to have another uh, little little injection there of, of some explosives and another uh, champion belt. It's a gold medal. Gold medal on in sickness and uh, just keep it moving there. You know what? There's options. We're gonna have to give that another gold medal right here. The jar is interesting. I don't think it works the way I would want it to work as the keeper, but I mean we're starting to really look at this like it's got a chance. I've been feeling that way for for a little bit, I guess, but like I'm really, really feeling it now. Yeah, you should be using that right away, because you got car battery just just hanging out, or not car battery, um, jumper cables. You know, in my in my brain, jumper cables and car battery, at least like that's not the worst mistake you could make in terms of like keeping, uh, you know, your brain getting confused between two items. At least they're involved in like the same industry. Like, you use the jumper cables on the car. It's not like I'm calling, like, you know, Krampus' head Book of Revelations. Those days are, are long behind me. <laughs> the, the pursuits of a younger man. Alright, we, we actually weirdly prefer the range here, I think. And there's no reason to go in there. And we will head out. And what we want to see now, it's finally coming to pass. What we wish to see now is, uh... Joke air. We wanted to see a deal with the angel. Unfortunately, you want to make Ed laugh? Tell him your plans. It's okay though. We're we're in an like extremely good spot. Money equals power would like really hit the spot right now, man. Oh my god. Now if you get hit, it's okay. You've already seen the deal with the devil, but just make sure you're ready to get those coins. Mysterious Liquid is actually going to rip here. Like, this this is going to be an incredible item. I promise you that. Um, we will just move on. I mean, we, we have our shop left to go. Really, really hoping we don't get greed in our shop. Because, I mean, that's really, like... It's fitting, you know? They, I think they did a great job designing the Keeper. The Keeper's most important items really show up in the place where you'd expect them to be. His natural uh, habitat. So I would, uh, I would hate for this to be greed, and I'm, I'm very happy that it happens to be uh, a real shop with a reroll machine. Restock is, is amazing here. What happened to my justice card? <laughs> oh well. Um, mm, probably not so much uh, this then. Um, the Fool, the Empress, Two of Hearts. We, we should stop uh, this charade. Nun's Habit is, is actually like a platinum medal. Two cent cards is a pretty sick deal. <laughs> and I'm on like, I don't know, man. I feel like compost is like worth it just to get all this stuff taken care of. Bible, I think, is worth it for getting to uh, Bookworm, hopefully. And then 9 volt is disgusting. It's so good. That's that's how good it is is that I'm sick to my stomach. It's 
almost certainly worth it to hold two items. Uh, especially because we can keep buying. So we'll buy get the backpack. There's no reason really not to take the pills here and be pretty, pretty pogged up about it. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine or whatever. Lemon party or whatever. Um, we definitely also want hive mind. I thought we already got this item, but maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I think this is what we want to stick. I think we want to stick with the pills, honestly. I, this is this is kind of incredible. Like, this is a, a th that one shop changed so much about the way that this was going. Is it was going really well to begin with? But look at that. Did you did you see that? Oh my word. We're we're putting it together here. We're putting one foot in front of the other. I'm a little impressed. Now, it wouldn't be an NL run without complaining that a great run has problems. Just the, the radical centrist inside of me, of course. Um, ah! We're okay. Next time that happens, use the sun card. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, dude. Infested. Why not? And you get, you get two of them. Power pill. Definitely worth holding, but I didn't. So let's just remember that for next time. Um, the, the main problem with this run right now is, is just the genuine raw damage stat. And that's it. If, if we could, uh, we don't have to even improve it in order for this run to have a great chance, but that could have gone terribly wrong. Uh, of course, I would love if we could improve it a little bit. And also, like, trying to think, like, items that would give us some invincibility. I don't think we could do anything with, like, Empty Vessel, for example. Lemon, Lemon Party. I'm drowsy. We're, we're taking the sun card with us. It's just more... It's just better. You don't need me to tell you that, though. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Deal with the angel would be pretty sweet. That's all right. We, we're getting HP no matter what. Yeah, I, th I was going to say, I thought stem cells came with, like, a little bonus. It's not... Um, it's shot speed, which is worth something. Because our range is pretty bad, thanks to number one, but... We really have <laughs> recognized the comedic timing in Heron in possibly saying this, but we really have almost no excuse not to win this run right now. We quite literally have essentially every item that you would consider yourself to have to have in order to have the best chance possible of winning as the keeper. The, the one exception is like a respawn, which admittedly would really hit the spot right now. I got I got room in my life for, for uh, nine lives or... You know, God forbid, coming back as, like, a completely different character that would be much more survivable. Um, I don't even know what Hematemesis does here. Yeah, so you definitely, like, just should not have used it. Um, on the other hand, we're still okay. And you still got the Sun card. For when you're not okay. And you still got the Sun card for when you're not okay. Okay, this now we're talking. Now we're talking. Two of clubs, pretty good. Dude, I gotta tell you, sack of sacks, pretty good. I, and I'm very, dude, we, we've, we've bucked the trend of comedic timing, okay? There have been some spelunky moments that have happened lately where we have basically tempted fate. We'll say something like, you know, only an idiot could die here. Because you'd have to do X and then like immediately doing X and dying. I swear to you, I don't do it on purpose. I do say this, the comments on purpose, knowing that if something goes wrong, it's going to be funny, I suppose. That that factors in. But I don't just make the comment and then throw. You're giving me too much credit. Like, I, I, don't, I can barely even play 2D chess. Have you been watching that lately? 4D chess is, is way beyond my area of expertise. Um, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay, okay, we're okay, okay, yeah. I would, do, I would love to have some access to these items, don't get me wrong. Lock up is beautiful. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Can't do it. Can't do it. What was I saying? Um, yeah, I don't know. Brain is just like, it's broken, man. Look at this, though. Um, oh, I was gonna... Uh, create a situation where comedic timing could only uh, hurt me. I was going to say there's no way that we lose on mom's heart. And guess what? That proved to be true. 
Which means, by which I mean to say, we didn't lose on Mom's heart. I suppose there was probably a way, but didn't happen. Didn't come to pass. So now the game, it actually becomes very simple. Not easy, because I, I think like a, a novice Isaac player would still probably lose this. Um, we're just so like, we, we, you know, you're now a novice in Isaac if, if you haven't been playing the game for like 4,000 hours, right? Like, it, it, we're so freaking, we, we've blown out the entire curve of expectation, but, um, okay, that's fine. It like actually fine. Not even like I'm just pretending that it's fine, but that's a little scarier, but we're still going here. I didn't get hit, but I picked up my HP. Um, but what I, what I mean to say is, like, I think this run is losable by an amateur, for sure. And I play am amateurishly from time to time. But, really all we need to do, it's all about this sun card. If we carry the sun card into the blue baby fight, we, we, we will not lose. And I, I feel 100% confident saying that. I, I don't think it's any more complicated than that, as long as we are able to manage the sun card, not have to use it. Now, you got to be careful, because you don't want to put the card in front of the horse. The sun card is a symptom, not a cause, you know? You're like, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> I got no clue what this guy's talking about, but he's, he's starting to make sense. All right, so I, I did take marked, and, and I took it for genuine reasons here. You know, it really raised our DPS. We got an extremely great thing going here. Just create as much HP as possible. This has been, like, if we lose this run, it's almost certainly my fault. This is not one that I could pin on the game. But I think we've been playing pretty well. But also, admittedly, we've gotten away with having played the run a little mindlessly. So I'm really being a little bit cheeky here. I was like, we don't have to use our, uh... Well, we don't have to use our anything yet. Like, I, I didn't even use our spacebar item, because I, I felt like I had them all... I, I felt like I had them dead to rights. Okay, now we're talking. Look at this. We still have the sun card. Again, it's it's resource management. We took a calculated risk on the last room. It left us in a better spot for this room. And now we've got this full health in, in case we need it. Justice, you know, follows a very similar, uh, similar beat here. Possibly even better, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Basically, both of them bring us to full health. Okay, look at this. You're killing it. You're killing it. Yeet! Yep. I now feel like like we can make the associated press call. Like I feel like this is going to be a win at this point. Not necessarily surprising given how things went, but I really do I look back to that first floor where like in the, in one of the first rooms we almost got hit by a champion, but instead we happened to have uh you know the razor because we had Eden's blessing on our last run. I really look to that as being, like, a, a moment that, that kind of changed everything for us. Okay. So now that we got some HP, I feel a little bit more comfortable taking a stand here. Moving it over in this general direction. And really, I mean, if, if they want to play the War of Attrition, I think it's working out better for, for me than it is for, for Blue Baby at the present moment. I'm, I'm content to play this game all the live long day. Go get a glass of water. Go go make some cold brew so it's ready to go for tomorrow. That's all it takes. Look at this. <laughs> this is like how you know you got there. In, in I was going to say in Spelunky. This is how you know you got there in Isaac. We're doing passive damage. I don't think I've ever heard this song go on this long, though. I, I'll admit that. It's the longest I've ever heard this song go on. I suppose for style points, you know, we could always just finish it off with a little bit of... 
I don't think we're in range yet, but you could always, you know what I mean? You could finish it off with a little bit of... You, you could always, it's the thing you could do like, you could do like this and just finish it off with a little... Ah, oh, it wasn't even close, man. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm impressed with that one. I'm proud of that one. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. See ya!